Hello, uh, I've got a, a very simple update today. Uh, feels a little bit like Groundhog Day. Um, last week was remarkably similar to uh, the week before that, and we're expecting it to be broadly the same this week. Uh, the same pressures are there, the same frustrations, the same mo uh, coping mechanisms that are kind of working, um, kind of keeping them the wheels turning. We're not a normal, but uh, we're doing okay. Um, we're still doing well renting properties, empty properties. Uh, we're doing exceptionally well helping um, landlords uh, with time to pay arrangements and collecting rent. Uh, currently we've collected over 90% of rent due in this period, so I think that was exceptional. Um, one thing that struck me uh, in this time was you know, just speaking to uh, friends, uh, family, clients as well. Um, there's definitely a correlation between the percentage of income earned by property and uh, how uh, how relaxed people are feeling throughout this time. Um, I often say that property is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. And I think this time has been you know, al al almost the ultimate test of that. Um, people with different jobs, businesses, um, stock, stock and share investors, um, they're just not as happy as our landlords. And um, as a company, personally, I'm, I'm now more determined than ever um, to inspire uh, our landlords to you know, double down on their efforts and, and grow their, um, their portfolio. So you'll see me be more vocal about that in the future. I wrote an email last week uh, I needed to explain uh, to a group of investors um, you know, what we do, how we do it, why we do it. Uh, as I wrote it, it became like a confirmation of you know, all, all the things I know um, and we talk about. But reading back there, um, you know, buying value, adding value, creating decent and safe homes for tenants, then refinancing to pull capital out to then go on and do it over and over and over again and, and build an empire. Um, it's worthwhile and it works. Um, it's worthwhile for all concerned, you know, um, yeah, including, including the renters. Um, they get a landlord that's committed to creating a decent and safe home and, um, and, and, and holding it for the long term so they get somewhere great to live and it creates intergenerational wealth. So I want to see more of our landlords grow to the bigger numbers, you know, 10, 15, 20 properties. Um, we've got quite a few landlords now with, you know, 20, 30 properties that we've we've helped to get there, um, but there are too many that are sort of languishing on the one, two, threes and fours, and um, I want to offer our help to get you all up to the numbers that you deserve. Um, what's interesting as well is the uh, the landlords with sort of the 20, 30s, even 40 properties, um, we get very little contact from them. Yeah, we'd, we'd love, love you to be in touch more if you had, if you're even, even watching these, but um, you know, they're very relaxed, quite quiet. Uh, there de definitely must be something in that. You know, the, 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 the first we understand that the first one, two, three, four properties. There's more. Yes, you know, more contact. It takes a lot more hand holding to get a, a landlord through those first properties. But once you're at the five, ten, fifteen, thirty more uh, properties, it does become one after the other, and um, you know, a lot more predictable. And uh, yeah, like I say, we get less and less contact for somebody, the bigger their portfolio is as they're able to relax more and more. So um, yeah, be in touch, you be in touch with us um, with your questions on how you can grow your portfolio because we can do it and we have done it for multiple landlords now. Uh, and I'd like as many of our current landlords to revisit us on a discovery day to, to rediscover what it is we can do and what we can do for you. And I think that'll be a worthwhile project for, well, for both of us if uh, if you were to do that. Um, so here's this week's update. I guess it's more of a reminder because it's very, very similar to last week's. There's a few minor changes, I suppose. But uh, so finding stock, we can't buy as much. Uh, we can we well, we didn't buy anything um, last week uh, simply because we can't do any viewings. Um, we do have two viewings booked in for this week. You know. Normally we do 20. Um, I guess the likelihood of us buying one of those two is probably high, higher because we're certainly the only people that are going to see those two properties. Um, we did complete on two houses last week, so we, we you know, they went through. We, we now legally own those. Uh, and three more are going through this week. So the pipeline's still turning. There's nothing saying you can't buy a house. Solicitors are still working. Everything's still working. Um, some mortgage lenders are still almost working. I, I personally I did three refinances last month in um, 
in April. So, you know, they're still working, uh, but they've got to be done on a desktop evaluation and not all lenders can do that. My, the ones that went through on mine, they were surveyed before that, so that was fine. Um, so the pipeline's still moving, but it's definitely in danger of running dry. Uh, fixing property, so still inching forward. It's very, very similar to last week. It's one sort of glimmer on the horizon that, is, that builders, merchants are, they seem to be reopening now. There's a couple that uh, are opening this week um, and Jobs are getting ever so slightly quicker. They're not much, but we've noticed one or two builders who have just sort of um, restarted a job because they've got those, those materials or whatever now. Um, maintenance numbers are creeping up actually. So tenants are allowing access for more routine maintenance and we're getting that work done where we can safely. Um, one more team member is out of furlough now to cope with that slight increase in workload. We know we've got to keep pace with that um, because there will be there will be a catch-up period as well. Uh, we're not into the catch-up period at all at the moment, but uh, just ever so slightly more uh, than he's doing. Uh, when it comes to renting properties, we're still doing video viewings and they are still working. Um, we ended April on about 6% of the usual move-ins, 60% of the usual move-ins, uh, which on an analysis was exceptional actually. Uh, coming from where we came from, um, considering all the hurdles we had to jump through, we had to video every single one of those properties, which is not something we'd normally do, set up the systems. We're aiming to increase on those numbers this uh, this month, simply because you know we now know how to do it, we're set up to do it, and we've, we've sort of streamlined the process quite a bit, and I think we, yeah, I think we can do that. Um, the, the whole team think we can do that. When it comes to you know, the back-end management, um, long-term management of property, it continues to astonish me what the team are, are managing to do, you know, whether it's getting new tenancies going, managing existing tenancies. Um, the, the way things have just continued solidly and steadily um, and the focus they've brought to bear on all the tricky issues, like I say, it's been astonishing. The standout KPI has got to be uh, rent collected arrears. Arrears have actually fallen in this period. Um, uh, like I said before, I've covered it in mul multiple videos. We've, we've collected over 90% of rent due. So the big fear that landlords had uh, that, t that the rent wasn't going to be paid just never came true. Um, for us, and I think that's the big thing, because the more I understand what other letting agencies do and what other landlords are managing, um, I know that's not the case for everybody. It, it has been some exceptional work, not not by me at all, um, but by the team that have, that have produced that. They refused to take no for an answer. Um, they, they, they dug around for different solutions, different systems, worked overtime. When I say overtime, I mean you know, 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen messages going out at four o'clock in the morning um, to really um, keep this situation under control and it's, it's, it's born from fruit. I think it's, it's a lesson for me in focus because um, yeah, uh, three weeks ago there wasn't a lot else to focus on. Um, this was our number one worry. So you bring all your focus to bear on that and this is what's happened. It's, um, yeah, we've actually learned some lessons that we'll bring forward um, into normal operations. So. Um, yeah, exceptional. My thanks to the team for that and uh, I guess I'll, I'll thank them on your behalf as well, our landlords. So we suspect that this Thursday will bring a, a government, an, government announcement that uh, could see us able to work with only you know, one arm time behind our backs rather than two. Um, yeah, and we're looking forward to that announcement. We think that, fingers crossed, there'll be a little chink there that we can uh, sort of just start to do a little bit more because we do need to start doing a little bit more to return to uh, anything like normal. So that's it. That's the update. Very simple. Like I say, very similar to last week's. Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, seriously consider uh, devoting some time to, to growing your empire after all this um, calms down. Um, book a discovery day. Um, you might have been to see us you know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago. Books come see us again, see what we can do. Coming out of this, there'll be lots of property opportunity and I wanna see more of our landlords have 10, 20, 30, 40 properties. And uh, yeah, if you're one of our landlords that's got 30 or 40 properties, how about doing that again and taking it to uh, 60 or 80? Thanks for watching.